They say this is a big rich town. Yeah. I just come from the motherfucker. Why are you singing Stingray Breeze song? Man, it's just a song. I'm sorry she's not gonna mind. Yo, you don't do that shit again. I fuck you up. You got some reviews to do. Nigga, I don't have time for that. I got movies to deliver, music to put out. Bum bum. You better know them reviews like you do them songs. Because I ain't playing. Get this review done and cut that singing shit out. Leave that to Sim Re Red. Motherfucker. Let's get this shit poppin'. All starts with Ghost going to jail. Now he's putting everything in the in the cabinet and he sees Angela. And he tells Angela, let me answer the phone because he hears the phone ring. It could be an emergency. They say if you want, we can send the police down to your house and do a search warrant. As Ghost was about to say something, the cops just take him away. And Tommy's at the house with the Keisha. The Keisha feeling all like a princess because she's been saved. The phone rings. And Tasha is calling him. And Tasha tells Tommy that Ghost, no, Tyreek, is missing. So Tommy loses it. Goes to the club, finds Dre's like, who, where's Tyreek? Who's Slim? Dre's like, I don't know. He's like, who's Slim? Where's Tyreek? And Dre knows where who Slim is, says, nah, I don't know who Slim is, and I'm gonna see if I can find Tyreek. And did you hear? Ghost is in jail. Tommy's all like, what? So, as this is going on, Kanan and Tyreek are talking. Talking about, oh, you fell asleep, and Ray pulled a prank. Dre comes over saying, hey, I need Tyreek to come home right now. His mom's worried. He's like, so what, nigga? I'm surprised they haven't even called the cop. So, Dre's like, Ghost is being arrested. And, go and Kanan was happy as hell that Jupon was like, so what does that have to do with anything? And Andrea's like, yo, Kane, you can get back in the game now. I can pay you 10000 each week. And she's like, oh, pay me 15000 Ray's like, yeah. And Dre's like, I can't do that. It's almost 50000 a week. He's like, Kane's like, well, if you didn't do what you had to do, then everything would be good. So then as this is going on, Kane tells Tyree what really is going on. That his dad's in jail. They don't know what it is, so he gives him another phone and says, hey, Call me on this phone, because the cops gonna be all over your other phone. And he's like, you know, we gonna save your mom, right? He's like, yeah, 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 I got you. Dre brings Tyreek home, and Tasha's like, where the fuck were you? Where are you? Why are you answer your phone? Like a word black mother. And Tyreek's like, yo, um, I was drunk and I was just, I was just with the boys and I fell asleep. And. Tommy's just like, yo, who's Slim? And, and Tariq just ignored that, saying, I, I don't know who Slim is, but I, I, I was sleeping. And Tasha's like, what do you mean you were sleeping? What kind of people you hanging with? Tariq's like, oh, I ain't no snitch. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> He's lucky he don't, have a, he don't have a different kind of black mother. Oh, I do get his ass whooped, boy. <laughs> so, then he saying that, oh, um, I will hang with them again. And then Tommy's like, all right, well, it's all good. Then he goes talks to Dre about who is Slim. Trying to find out some answers. How did you find Tyreek? Who is Slim? Because he knows that Dre is lying, but Dre is just going to keep lying and say, oh, I don't know who he is. He's just, uh, he was just, I found him in Brooklyn. Tommy knows, but he didn't say nothing. While this is going on, Proctor, Proctor, is at his house with his wife. His wife is sick of this motherfucker. Throwing glass at him, saying she'll call the cops. He takes his daughter away from her. So he calls the wife and says that Ghost is in jail because he received a call earlier saying that James St. Patrick saying that, oh, I can't do anything. Angela set me up and you put me in jail. And Proctor's like, yo, yo I, got to, I got you. But as the call was going on, Proctor's telling her that everything's going to be fine. He's going to get her, her, her husband out with bail and you don't have nothing to worry about. So as Proctor visits his ghost in jail the next morning, Proctor's just, what the fuck were you thinking? Breaking in someone's house without gloves on. What the hell were you thinking? And Ghost's like, I was wearing gloves. He's like, well, wasn't when you are escaping the railing. And he's like, look, we need to make sure that you're a civilian and you're a legit club owner. So don't do nothing. Don't say shit. Don't do shit. Don't let it be shit. Just be yourself. Be nice. So Tasha's at the house, wondering what she's gonna do next. Keisha comes over, and Tasha's just apologizing to her about everything that has happened. 
and a brink of an eye, Officer Angela Valdez and the officers come over and destroy the place. And, 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 and Tasha's just like, what the fuck you think you're doing here? Don't let me kick your ass, right? And the Keisha was like, yeah, 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 let's kick her ass. And Tasha's like, no, 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 let's, let, me, let me just go see what's going on. Tasha's like, what the fuck you think you're doing here? Angela's like, I'm here to find evidence. I have a warrant. So they, they'll destroy everything. They were searching through the kitchen. They were searching through the safe. They were searching through the drawers. They were searching through her panty drawers just to find some evidence. And then Raina comes over and sees all this. And Raina just walks off like, yo, what the fuck you think you're doing? I thought you loved my dad. And she leaves. And Angela's like, no, 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 it's not like that. And as this whole commotion's going on, Tommy's just taking care of business as usual. He say, okay, Ghost is gone. I'm in charge. And my man here, he's running shit too. He's my second in command. So then, all things are starting to come in. He brings his Chinese lady over and gets her work. Forces Dre's hand to get her a job because it's hard out here in the community. The DA got a new detective and it's asshole jump. He's just coming in, making demands like, yo, this is how I want things to go. I'm the guy that's gonna take over the case. And you, the guy that killed Greg, you're gonna be second to man. And Angela, I need to talk to you. So when John talks to Angela, he's like, so how well did Jane St. Patrick knew Greg? Angela's like, um, they don't know each other. They only talked like once. Oh, except the time that Greg stopped him. He's like, really? And that's it? He's like, yeah. And John is like saying some slick shit like, oh, are you sure? Because I've heard a lot of things about you. But we all know the truth. Because he knows the bullshit. Because he, he's he been through some shit. Like fast and furious and all kinds of shit. He, and as this is going, Tasha visits his ghost for the first time. Now she's upset. And Ghost is like, look, I know you couldn't find the money. But I need you right now to get the money from Dean. So as she goes, she doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Tommy figures knows what he's talking about and tells her it's from the, the money he gave to Malone. And she's like, what? How am I going to get the money? So Tommy's like, I'll handle it. So he goes and sweet talks one of Malone's old apprentices and basically gets the money like that. So he got the two million, gives it to Dre and says, hey, everything is cool now. I want you to put this money, save it, and we're gonna use it as bail money. And then the court comes in. The big ghost comes in walking. Charlie Murphy's like, sit your ass. And the court starts. Proctor's trying to fight a case, trying to give everything it is to get bail. And then asshole John is like, nah, man, he's a he's a he's a dangerous to society. He's injured children. He's injured lives. He's done everything. And and he's like, nah, he's a civilian, an African-American with three babies. Oh, but that don't mean nothing. He killed a criminal agent. He ain't a safe man. He's a murderer. And they're arguing back and forth. And then the judge says, no bail. We're going to do this in court. And then Ghost, sad as hell. And Proctor's like, don't worry. I'm, I'm going to find a way to bail you out. And then he sees Angela and says, and she's like, you're right, you And just walks off. And Ghost is shocked. Doesn't know what he's gonna do next. And Charlie takes him away. Then, Dre meets Kanan at a warehouse. Pays him his 50,000. And Dre's just telling Kanan, just please leave him alone. Please leave Tyreek alone. Just mind your own business. Cause Dre is just that snoopy ass motherfucker. And Kanan is like, don't worry, I'll leave him alone. We all know he won't leave him alone. So Tyreek texts him after that, after that, and says, hey, when are we gonna link up? Tommy will find you. And when he finds you, he'll kill you. Because he's been doing this for years. Charlie Murphy and them are being dicks to James St. Patrick. They're like, move faster, nigga. We can't move, nigga. And Ghost is just like, yo, man, I had a long day. I'm I'm not resisting, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying. And then they take him in the back and they beat the hell out of him. Will Ghost get out of jail? 
Will Tasha finally beat Angela's ass? Will asshole John make some moves and flirt with Angela? Will Keisha find a new man? Will Kanan and Tyreek start robbing the streets? Will Proctor find a way to get ghosts out? Find out next time on Power Season 4, Episode 2. If you like what you see, subscribe to this channel right now for more skits, music, and ETC. Enjoy the heat.